love. When you watch the NBA, when you watch the NBA on CBS. Coach of the Buffalo Braves is Jack Ramsey. And now, meet your Boston Celtics with the basket. Check those pants on the coach of the Buffalo Braves. How about that, Betty? That's some kind of outfit, right? <laughs> Psychedelic Dr. Jack Ramsey. Outside, Dave Cowens off the front of the limb. And that happens when Cowens shoots outside. You certainly lose a tremendous rebounder. You've got only silence. Randy Smith for Buffalo. I think it may be just butterflies here. I think it's a little tension, Brent. I agree totally with you. McAdoo facing the basket to Randy Smith. They work a fine play. Good play. Randy Smith is quick. He gets a step on any player. He'll beat him any place. Celtics and Braves tied at two games apiece. Celtics try to come right back. McAdoo intercepts. Look at Smith outrun Havlicek. Fantastic speed, and Tommy Heinsohn wants a timeout after that play. You've got to have a chick in the right spot at the right time, picking up the offensive rebounding and using the glass. And tomorrow and Sunday, the Houston Open at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Randy Smith saved it, got it back to John Shoemate. It gets inside Cowens. That's a second field goal for Shoemate. And a circus shot at that. John Shoemate just hanging in the air and releasing the ball before he'd hit the court. One of the big men has got a guard on him. It is Scott fronting Shoemate. Great pass inside. McAdoo hit McMillan. Mindy, we slide inside of two minutes left here in the first quarter. McAdoo up in the air with a turnaround. Celtics lead it by three. 18-15. Nelson with control. Shoemate jumped out on Collins and went to the basket of McAdoo with a block. Now the Braves can pull to within one point. An amazing block by Bob McAdoo. Kenny Charles has checked in. He'll start this quarter with Randy Smith. McAdoo with the quarter's first shot. And Buffalo is pulled within a point 2019. And when McAdoo gets down that low, he gets time to set himself. There's just nobody can put him away from that basket. Never did. That was the second foul on Collins. Smith with possession for the Braves. Turn around, jump shot. Kevin Stakem wearing 27. Second year pro from Providence. His former teammate Ernie DiGregorio over on Jack Ramsey's bench. Collins has it blocked again by McAdoo. Second tremendous defensive play by Big Mac. If there's a play of any kind that can inspire a club, it's a play that McAdoo pulls right now with just great timing and blocking the shot, and that's twice he's done that so far. Nelson with control. 14th and last year in the NBA. Charles tries to tie him up. Nelson on the turnaround fires off, and McAdoo with still another rebound. A sensational performance on defense and rebounding by Big Mac so far. 9-40. Charles waits. Nelson taking him. Havlicek working inside on McMillan, who does the turnaround. The battle, and McAdoo got it away from Silas. Still in at center. Here's McMillan on the drive. Cowens blocks it. Now Charlie Scott comes out on the run. Celtics on the break. Scott. Oh, McAdoo got back down. How did he block that shot? Trying to regain control. Now that was another block shot by McAdoo. And what Ramsey is claiming is that the ball was not loose on the foul that was committed. This ball foul was called. Two fouls on McAdoo. Celtics turn it over. Adams, look at Smith. Oh, Rolls Royce went to the basket. Randy Smith, who jumped six foot eleven in college, took one leap from almost the foul line. Is a wackadoo and a hoople. Aim and Kaberski goes out. Let's look at the speed of Randy Smith. Just watch where he takes off. There you go, Randy. He's going to make it again. Is he some athlete? Really, of two to one, he pulled up and took the jump shot. Adams, double team now, turn around and drills it. Well, Don Adams made up for it. In quarter, Nelson fires off a shot trying to draw the foul. 55 seconds. Nelson attempted to draw the foul on that last play. You hear the crowd reaction. Twice outside. Oh, it they needed that. They needed six that. Six point lead. They needed that. Try to battle back in game five. Yeah. Two teams dead even in this series. Winner to take on Cleveland for the Eastern Conference title. And the big redhead yanks down the first rebound of the second half. Scott goes up and McAdoo comes flying through that lane. I count five block shots for Bob McAdoo. And I'll tell you, 
He is keeping this game down to where it's respectable. Now watch Bob McAdoo. He comes up, catches the ball on the way up. A tremendous defensive play. Missed shot by JoJo White. Braves with possession. Just underway in the second half. And a 10-point Boston lead over Buffalo. Ernie D fires and hits his first points, and it was a pretty shot. And all I can say, it's about time. That's one thing they need. They need scoring from Ernie D, and they need penetration to get back into here. Trailing by eight points. JoJo White outside. Shoemate at the glass. Ernie D in the middle for the Braves. Brings it down. White steps around. And Ernie D fires again. Two quick hoops, and Ernie D has lit up the Braves. Ernie D must be listening because I said they need scoring from them, and they've got it. Back out to Ernie D. Silas watching McAdoo. McMillan gets it into Shoemate on the turnaround. It's now a six point Boston Celtic lead. Tonight's trivia question. The man in the flowered shirt, do you recognize that face? Played for the Boston Celtics. In that famous game six against Milwaukee, he wound up covering Abdul Jabbar. That is none other than Henry Finkel. Welcome back to the Boston guy. What a nice man he is. He is. He is a heck of a guy. One of my favorite people. Charlie Scott. Shoemate got back on defense and got a hand on it. Ball went out of bounds. And saves it. The redhead does it again. Nelson has it taken away by McAdoo with a fine defensive play just across the midfield line. Fifth on the drive was fouled by White. And it'll count. Chance for a three-point play. That could be a big moment for the Braves. White starts his drive, gets free as he gets around Ernie D and missed. Adams yanks the rebound off to Di Gregorio at the far side. Looking now to set something up. Celtics far more conscious of Ernie D in this game than they have been earlier in the series. He has hurt them. McAdoo trying to get something going as Mindy told you and he does. And of course, when you're in trouble, who do you go to? You go to your big man. You go to the guy who can score for you. McAdoo to the type of, of shooting style. Ernie D talking to Jack Ramsey. Jack Ramsey. Speed. Buffalo in the penalty. It is a 13 point bulge, the largest of this game. Ernie D gets inside and gets it off the shoemaker. Back to 11. One minute left in the third quarter. Play by Buffalo. Everybody look. For McAdoo to get the ball and McAdoo to get the last shot, there was a screen and McMillan came loose. Good smart play by Ernie D at that time. Channel 2, New York. The commissioner of the NBA, Larry O'Brien, there to the right of Red Arback, the general manager of the Boston Celtics. Twelve minutes to go. Whoever wins will hold an important 3-2 lead in this Eastern Conference semifinal. And they will take on Bill Fitch's team. He's and over there coach. to the right. Jimmy Rogers. Uh, Obama by Charlie Scott. And Tommy Hansen has a very interesting front wall up there, a very interesting front line. He's got Don Nelson and Steve Kowalski with have the and Silas on the bench. Jack Ramsey very unhappy. He just pointed to the Braves. Get the ball across the timeline. Call a timeout. Get over here. You haven't done what I just told you between quarters. And he was asking for a three for two foul, which you people did not see. On one play where Collins fouled Shoemate, he thought Shoemate was in the act of shooting. Jake O'Donnell insisted that he was not, and Ramsey insisted that he was. Therefore, we had a technical foul that followed, of course, frustration, absolute frustration on Jack Ramsey's part. 